Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to show you a full-on small optimization guide in order to get more FPS in Fortnite. It's basically going to work on any type of PC guys. It doesn't matter if you're on a laptop, low-end PC or even a high-end gaming PC and I'm going to show you the best methods in order to improve your performance and we're going to focus especially around your CPU since Fortnite is insanely CPU based. I'm going to show you the best ways to improve your performance and if you guys enjoy this type of content please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this what up mode so so much. And also don't forget to enter the GTX 1080 giveaway guys. It's going to be the pinned comment. I'm still giving it away guys. Yeah, literally just the video. Click onto it. I explain everything in just like a bunch of seconds. And without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, I prepared for you here now a brand new optimization pack guys with new tweaks here on your Windows PC. And all you guys got to do in the first place is click on the first link in the description where you can find my website guys. On here, I have tons of optimization tweaks for basically anything you guys can do to optimize your PC to get more FPS, less input delays stretch resolutions for fortnite and basically anything you could ask for but since we're looking today for fps boost we're going to click here on this category onto fps boost then you maybe get like a small pop-up ad guys which you can just simply close and then you can use the site and there should be a post here on the top guys with exactly the same name and the same thumbnail and also a bunch of other ones which i would recommend you to check out 100 especially this one here is super helpful and yeah then just simply click onto it again as mentioned you might maybe get like a small pop-up ad which is going to close and then afterwards just simply scroll down out here you can find the download button which is going to redirect you to google drive from where you can download it guys and once we get the file here on our pc we're going to right click onto it and extract it all here onto our desktop and in the first place guys we get now process lasso which is the best tool to optimize your cpu we're going to go through the installation process here real quick we can see something like launch process lasso then we're going to leave everything here click onto install and then we basically already have the program here running in the background and what this will help us is to put our cpu into high performance mode and what I want to do in the first place, guys, is actually now go into my Epic Games launcher and make sure that I run Fortnite in the background while doing this. Like you have to have Fortnite running and put it just simply into windowed mode. I'm just going to show you real quick how you can do it. So guys, simply leave it run in the background. And once we now in the program itself, we should find here ourselves under all processes, our Fortnite exe. And what are we going to do is just simply scroll here through this real quick until we can find it now here, guys. And what we're going to do in the first place is click onto it, go onto CPU Affinity, go onto Current, and make sure, guys, that all of our CPU cores and threads are selected, guys, yeah? We gotta make sure every single one of them is selected. My CPU has 8 cores, 16 threads, so therefore make sure all of them are selected. Then in the next place, guys, we have here Induced Performance Mode, which we're going to enable as well, and you can see now that our Fortnite has been set to performance mode, making sure that our CPU is focusing mainly around Fortnite while playing and therefore we will get way better performance. And what are we then also going to do is right click onto it and make sure to put it to exclude from pro balance because we don't want to make sure that we have like any like power savings mode while playing it. And after that guys, we're also going to click here now onto main, go onto active power profile and make sure bits and highest performance or highest performance is enabled. Any one of these here guys, those are the two best ones. I'm right now using the bits and highest performance one. Make sure this one is selected. Just making sure your CPU is really running at a max speed guys, making sure that you have maximum fps in fortnite and once we're done with that guys we're gonna close the program here itself already we're fully done and we can also close basically fortnite because we're gonna continue with the next optimization steps and in this next step now guys we're going to click onto gaming optimization registry tweaks and in here now we have a bunch of useful registry tweaks which are disabling some of the most important processes in the background in order to get more fps on your pc we have something like disable driver searching, disable file history service, disable maintains, disable power throttling, super important guys, making sure that your PC is running faster. And we also have something like disable Windows telemetry, which is basically just creating cache files on your PC, disable energy estimation, disable energy logging. Then we're also gonna put a Fortnite onto permanent high priority mode, super important as well, you know, so you don't get to do it all the time here with your task manager. Then we also have something like keyboard data queue size, which we gotta put to the lowest amount of latency possible as well. Then we have the low latency mode, maintain low latency mode, max FPS and mouse data queue size. These are all going to help you to overall get way more FPS and less amper delay on your PC. So therefore just simply click onto them and click onto yes on each and every single one of them, applying them real quick here to your PC. Just simply do it for every single one of them. And then we're already done here with this registry pack as well. And in the final step, we're gonna click onto clean junk files guys. And we're gonna click onto this exit, which is going to redirect us to normal disk cleanup 
And I would definitely recommend you guys after some time always making sure that your direct exchange cash is clean, guys. Yeah, this is gonna help you out so much because as it already says here with the description, cleanup files created by graphics system which can speed up application load time and improve responsiveness. And sometimes these files are just simply corrupted or after update, you know, they're a little bit changed and everything. So therefore make sure to clean them once in a while and they get restored every time you launch the game again. So let's just say as an example that you have stutter or FPS drops in Fortnite. Maybe try to delete your DirectX shader cache, relaunch the game. The shader cache is gonna get like rebuilt again and then it should be fixed. And then we also have something like Windows Error Reports and basically make sure to select everything which is somehow here taking up a huge chunk on your hard drive. As an example, my recycling bin is 11.5 gigabytes. Just make sure to select everything, click onto IK and delete all of these files, you guys. Then you're just simply gonna let it run through and then we're already done here with this step as well. And every time before I actually hop into Fortnite, guys, I open up Noping here and make sure that I enable the boost FPS mode and actually also the turbo games mode, which is going to reduce the input delay off my keyboard and in addition to that guys no ping can also help you to reduce the ping of any game you want to play as an example if you're going to search here for fortnite guys we can click onto it and it's going to showcase me the best server in my near for the least amount of ping it usually takes a few seconds until you can see like the best one which would for me now be here london 02 and you can see on london 02 i get only 23 milliseconds delay whether on Frankfurt 17 or any of the other ones guys where I would get 26 milliseconds. So therefore this already helped me to get 3 milliseconds less ping guys. And then we're only going to click on to optimize game and we're already fully connected to the server with the least amount of latency in my near guys. Just simply let no ping run in the background. You can boost your FPS, reduce the input delay and get less ping. And by the way with the link in the description guys and my code you can get 20% off as well as the 7 days trial guys and you can pay super easy via PayPal so that Therefore, this is an amazing tool and make sure to check it out. And yeah guys with that said this is it for today's video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and as mentioned also don't forget to check out the gtx 1080 giveaway and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace